Hey everyone, this is Max Edson, co-founder of Prize. I'm here to provide you a quick example on how to use our research data table. So first of all, all the data in this table is composed of all the heat map data on this research page. So that includes land coverage map, sold for sale map, parcels on market map, coefficient of variation map, economic map, U.S. population density map, and much more as we continue to add more maps to this page. And so what this is good for is so you can really hone in on the county that you want to look at. And you can search by a state, you can do a county in particular, or you can do a nationwide search. All you have to do is either type in a state here. So if I wanted to put Washington, start putting in Washington, you can see that all the data now looks at Washington. Let's say if you want to do a specific county, uh, then I could look at specific county. And then if I just wanted to do a nationwide search, I'm going to leave those blank and then sort by something that I want to look at. So right now it's sorted by county A to Z, but let's say I wanted to do comps high to low. I can easily do that and now you can see that Mojave County has the highest comps in our database and then all the other data continued with it. So that's the first level of it and from there that's when you want to add your filters. And you could add all the filters if you just hit that and drop it down. And you can see we have our total comps, our for sale comps, sold comps, basically all the data columns that we have on this table here. So let's say I wanted to sort by sold to for sale ratio. And if I wanted to look at that and I can come to this filter table and let's say I want to make sure that my sold to for sale ratio is greater than one, which means that there's more sold comps in the area than for sale. All I want to do is do um, put those numbers in, click run filter, and you can see now I have uh, a nice cleaned up version of that with 47 pages left. And if I wanted to go on further, now all I need to do is click this plus button and I, keep, I can keep adding filters to this table to really narrow in on my search. So I can do another one. Let's say for this one, I wanted to do parcels on market ratio. So I wanna make sure there's not much competition in the area. So I can come to this table let's say less than, I want less than, uh, let's say 2% on the market. All I need to do is 0.02 there, run my filter again, and now we're narrowing down our search further. So you can keep adding these. You can see I can keep adding as many as I want here. Um, you can save your searches as well. So if you wanted to save your search, all you gotta do is click save search, put in a number here, whatever you wanna call it, click save, and now your search is saved. So I can go between these and make sure that I can keep coming back to them. And if you have one of our plus programs, you can also export this data as well. So if I wanted to click the export button, what happens is all this data in this table will get downloaded into an Excel spreadsheet. So that's how you use our data table. Please like, share, subscribe if you wanna learn more and enjoy.